gentlemen. Um, thank you so much for coming on today to our panel session. My name is Carla Jones, and I, um, in my day job, I'm the Chief Executive of Allergy UK, National Patient Organisation for Allergic Disease. Um, but I am also the Secretary of EFA, uh, the EFA Board, so the European Federation of Allergy and Airways Diseases for Patient Organisations. Um, I'd like to first start by introducing our panel. Um, and to say thank you so much to the panel for coming today. Um, we have Professor Joanne Ring, um, who will be presenting in a short time. Professor is, uh, uh, Ring is the Professor and Chairman of the Department of Dermatology and Allergology at the Technical University of Munich. So thank you so much. We have Bernd Arntz, um, who is a severe atopic eczema patient and uh, is a member of the Dutch Association of People with Atopic Dermatitis, who is uh, one of the key patient um, advocates and patients involved in the research that we've been, we're presenting today. Uh, Professor Carl Paul, uh, who I'm sure many of you know, and is current president-elect of the European Academy of Dermatology and Neurology. Uh, Professor Jean-Paul Stahl is actually joining us um, for the panel discussion, so he should be here soon. Um, and he's Professor of Infectious Diseases and Head of the Infections Department at Grenoble's University Hospital. And then we have um, Alice Vinzinti. Um, and Alice is uh, also an atopic eczema patient, uh, physician, and coordinator of the scientific committees of the Italian Topic Dermatitis Patient Organization. So welcome to the panel. Um, EFA, um, if any of, I just want to do a short introduction to EFA in case people are unaware of, of EFA. Uh, EFA is a European alliance of 43 uh, members. Um, we are patient organisations that represent allergy, asthma, and COPD across Europe. Um, and we, 30% uh, of the European uh, citizens, uh, suffer from these from these diseases. And EFA has a role um, actually supporting these diseases to raise awareness um, of these issues. And we do a lot of work lobbying the European Parliament as well as other key projects working with patients across Europe to raise awareness of the seriousness of these diseases. Um, the objective today is to look at atopic eczema and uh, the silence of suffering of, of those patients. And uh, we're going to look at the insight of the burden of this disease, which is very often overlooked. Um, somebody said earlier on um, it's actually a very visible disease but people are seen as invisible when they have a topic um, eczema um, what we wanted to do is look at um, session looking at the burden of this but also the quality of life issues that face patients who are living with atopic eczema, severe atopic eczema mm -hmm. in the kind of real world setting um, we want to create awareness of that not only amongst yourselves here but amongst other healthcare professionals um, politicians and wider and public across Europe. 